Hello fashion lovers here, welcome back to my channel, trust your good, trust your doing well. In today's video, we are going to be learning how to make a corset with yoke. I'm going to show you the best way for you to make a corset with yoke. If it is something you want to learn, keep watching this video. If you are new here, you are highly welcome. This is GB Fashion World, where we learn pattern drafting, free and cutting and sewing as well. Kindly subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. And to all my old subscribers, thank you guys for subscribing. Thank you guys for returning back. Thank you guys, I really appreciate. Let's get started. First, to get started, you'll be needing your basic bodice block. As you can see, I have my basic bodice block. So, for you to draft this corset, you must know how to draft a basic bodice block. And you can see, I have my front and back basic bodice block. On my front, I have my bust point, under bust, and waistline. And on my back, I have my bust point, the back waistline, and the hem. Did you see that? So, you can see that. Um, the back waistline is different from the front waistline so the difference between my front and back waistline is one inch so that is why you you will see that the front waistline and the back waistline are not on the same line so the front waistline is longer than the back by one inch so the next thing I want to do is to take my dart so you divide your nipple to nipple or apex to apex divide into two to get your dart so did you see my front waistline my back waistline is 14 inches while my front waistline is 15 inches so we have one inch different and that one inch different i'm going to be using it to take my my side boss my boss that sorry my boss that so before then i will go ahead and take my that so you want to go ahead and get your boss pound measurement divided by two that is your nipple to nipple measurement and then you mark so the next thing is for this width the width of this pattern i use my my boss circumference to draft the width of this pattern did you see that and on my waistline i have my waist circumference plus two inches basically what i did is that what i have on my boss circumference i marked it on my waist circumference so that for me to have a straight line like this did you see what i have on my bust line the measurement of my bust line is what i marked on my waistline because i want to have a straight line on the side seam so hope you got what what i said so what i'm going to do here on my waistline i'm going to mark one quarter of my waist circumference and whatever excess i have i will use it to take my waist that so let me explain what i did so the measurement i have on my bust which is one quarter of my bust circumference i marked it on my waistline so on that waistline i will mark my waist circumference whatever i have whatever excess i have after marking my waist circumference i will use it to take my dart so in my case i have it as two inches so on the center front here i mark 0 0.75 on, on the other side i mark 1.25 making it two inches for my dart so i will come down by 0 0.75 inch to connect my dart so let me explain it again the excess i have on my waistline after marking my waist circumference is two inches so towards this side now i mark 0 0.75 and towards this side now that i'm connecting i mark 1.25 making it two inches for my dart so now my waistline now has a uh, the right measurement so did you understand what i did so by the time you measure from this point to this point and then you start from this point to here you will have your accurate waist circumference did you see so by the time you measure the the markings excluding the dart you will have your right waist circumference so on my underbust you want to come and mark your underbust circumference like this from one point and start from this point to get your underbust circumference 
So you're going to mark your underboss circumference and whatever excess you have, you want to use it to take a dart on the underboss. This is what we call the contouring method. In this channel, I have made a detailed tutorial on how to contour your underboss and your overboss. So you want to come to your underboss, mark your underboss measurement, excluding the darts excluding the dart and whatever excess you have it might be 1.5 inch it might be 1 inch it might be 0.75 inches so whatever thing you have you want to go ahead and share the dart on both sides like this so for me i have it as one inch so i'm going to be marking half inch on both sides so the excess i have on my under bust after marking my underboss circumference is one inch so i marked half inch on both sides and i'm going to go ahead and connect like this this is what we call the contouring method or the underboss tightening so did you see what i did so after connecting like this you want to go ahead and link it to the dark leg like this did you see so this is actually very simple so what i did on the under bust is to mark my under bust circumference excluding the dart and whatever excess i have i use it to contour it by sharing the excess on both sides of the dart after sharing the excess on both sides of the dart i connected it so on the hem part here i have my hemming or uh, my my upper hip circumference so my upper hip circumference is 32 inches divided by 2 divided by 4 is 8.5 so that is what i have the same width with my boss circumference so that is why there is a straight line from the armholes down to down to the hem so you want to go ahead and connect your dart like this did you see you want to go ahead and connect the dots like this so this is actually very simple to make so the next thing now we want to go into the corset drafting so you want to come to the center front here and mark half inch you want to mark half inch if you're on a plus size you can go ahead and mark um, 0.75 so this is just like a guideline for us to you know for our cup not to get to that point so you want to mark that half inch so that your cup will not get to that point and then you want to get the difference between your bust point and your under bust and you begin to mark it run like this just to create a circle the circle we are creating is serving as a guideline for our cup not necessarily the cup so you want to get the difference between the bust point and the under bust line mine is three inches and i went ahead to mark that three inches all around just the way you see me do to connect a circle so the circle is serving as a a guideline for us it is not how the cup is going to be our bust is not in circle form so that is what i have so you want to come to the shoulder and get the midpoint of your shoulder and then you go ahead and connect the line like this so you connect your line like this did you see that so on that circle line that you made you want to go ahead and do uh, overboard contouring note that you can go below this or you can go above the circle but for me i'm using the circle as a guideline so and i'm marking 0.75 inch on both sides to contour my overbust so i max 0.75 inch so for my yoke i i usually use two 0.5 inch or 0.75 inch wide drafting or uh, or uh, a yoke so but on this video i use 0.75 on both sides making it 1.5 inches all together making it 1.5 inches all together please get that so you want to come here and get the neckline the neckline that you want for your corset for me i will use 8.5 so you want to keep your your curve like this just the way you see me to and then connect your 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 cup you connect the neckline like so did you see you want to go like this and connect so this is what i have as the neckline so 
you want to go ahead and extend this line like this so that you will different so that you can differentiate the cup and the center front the cup is not meant to come to the center front so you want to take that line up so after that you want to keep your curve like this do you see the way i kept my curve not like this did you see you keep it in this form in, and then you want to go ahead and make a curve like this you want to go ahead and make a curve like this did you see that so and then on the armhole you want to come down by half an inch you don't want the yoke to get to the armhole you come down by half an inch and then go inward by 0, uh, 0 sorry by 1.5 or 1.25 i used 1.25 so you come down from the armhole by half an inch and from that side seam you want to come inward by 1.25 because your cup is not meant to get to the side seam that should be your bust to not end on the side seam so you want to go ahead and make this curve like this and then keep your curve like this to connect the other part of the curve so this is actually very easy if you're on a plus size you can come inward by 1.5 or even 1.75 so i used i came inward by 1.25 and 1.5 always work for everybody 1.5 i use 1.5 for everybody so this is what i have so this is our corset with a uh, yoke so this is what basically what we have so you want to go ahead and connect the dots like this so just connect your dot like this did you see that you want to connect the dot like this link it to that uh shoulder line did you see what we have so this is what we have and because i use 0 0.75 on both sides i will come to the armhole and add 0 0.5 to avoid shortage if i use half inch on both sides to contour my over bust if i use half half inch on both sides i don't bother myself adding it back to the um to the armhole because the truth is that we have more fullness on the upper part we have more fullness on our upper bust so even if you contour by half an inch um, by half an inch on both sides and you do not add it back it will not shorten it so but if you go ahead and add whatever you use to contour the over bust back to the armhole by the time you'll be sewing the yoke will be in excess the yoke will be in excess so but i use 0 0.75 inches making it 1.5 inches so because i used 0 0.75 inch i will come to my my armhole and i will just add half inch and then reconnect the armhole but if it is half inch I, that i use on both sides i will not add it back so just get the difference if you want to use half inch on both, on both sides to contour your yoke don't you don't need to add it back to the armhole because we have more fullness on the bust so if you go ahead to add it back by the time you'll be joining your yoke you will have excess but the reason why I'm adding this 0 0.5 inch on the armhole is because I use more than half inch on both sides. So I want to add it back to avoid shortage. So that is what we have for the front part. So for the back parts, you want to go ahead and mark your dart. So the back, the back is uh, a bit simple than the front. So just follow me to see what I'm going to do. So you want to go ahead and mark a dart of one inch like this mark your dart of one inch or half inch on both side sorry one inch on both side and then you go ahead and connect sorry what i actually marked is 0 0.75 inch on both side no one inch sorry 0 0.75 on both side for my back dart so i usually use um half inch or 0 0.75 inch when i'm drafting my back dart so you want to go ahead and connect then you also want to you know mark your waistline so by the time i finish marking my waistline i found out that everything is actually correct so you want to measure 
excluding the dart so this is where my waistline is and then your hemming parts so this is what i have so you want to go ahead and mark um your neckline i want to have a v neckline so i want to go ahead and mark the neckline starting from my neckline to starting from my shoulder line to the boss point so this is how how this is how deep i want this neckline to be this is how deep i want this neckline to be so this is it so this is the i'm going to be cutting out this part so because this neckline is a bit deep we are going to have some we are going to have it might we might have gaping on the neckline so to avoid that gaping you want to take a dart of half an inch but before then let me just reconnect this line did you see you want to reconnect this line you want to link that line to the back part did you see so this is what we have i just linked the line so this is the yoke for the front and this is the yoke for the back so the next thing is i want to take a dart to avoid the gaping so but before then i want to extend this dart up like this you want to go ahead and extend the back dart like that so from this point you want to go up by half an inch and take a dart to avoid gaping you want to avoid gaping so whenever you alter a neckline beyond what it should be there is a possibility of feet gaping so i just went up by 0.5 inch and then i'm marking it connecting it back to that line so this is going to be a gaping dart so that my yoke will not gape so that is why i took away that um, 0.5 inch as my dart hope you are cleared with what i did here so this is actually very easy and very simple trust me very easy and very simple if you have any question don't forget to leave the question in the comment section so the difference between my front and back waistline is one inch so i'm going to come to my boss point for the front come down by one inch and go ahead and mark it mark my boss start if you don't know how to make a basic bodice block with boss that i will leave my a link in the description box the link to the basic bodies in the description box for you to go wash it to learn how to draft a basic bodice block with boss that so you can see i have marked my boss that so you want to go ahead and mark where i want the seam of the front to end so i want to start from the shoulder line to mark uh, 19 inches for my front that's how my seam is going to my seam is going to stop 19 inches so for the back i'm going to mark 18 inches for the front i marked 19 for the back i marked 18 inches the, the reason is because by the time we close up the bust that for the front the side seam for the front will become 18 inches so that is it so i use 19 inches for the front side seam and the back is 18 inches so that by the time i close up the bust that on the front it's everything we align to 18 inches for both the front and the back so this is me trying to make a curve for my front part i'm trying to make a curve for my front part so this is optional you can do anything you want for your back for your um curve you can do it anyhow you want it to be so for the back you can as well go anyhow you want the back to be so basically this is what i have i've gone ahead to transfer this that on another pattern paper did you see that so i'll go ahead and cut out this pattern this is very easy and simple trust me this is very easy and simple you want to go ahead and start cutting your pattern so you want to cut the side seam for the back then go ahead and cut the zipper side and then watch me as i cut this pattern so after cutting this is what i have my back yoke the center back 
right then the side seam for the back you want to make an arrow indicating which one is upper part and down part so all this pattern will be cut in two two pieces that is why you see me write two times so it's going to be cut in two pieces and then we'll go over to the front part to cut the front part you want to slit your dart to the bust point so that you'll be able to close up the bust dart so i'll just close the bust dart like this so by the time I close the boss dart, the side seam for the front and the back is going to align. So by the time you close the boss dart, you want to reconnect your cup. And you also want to close up this upper part like this. Did you see? And then you want to also reconnect this part. Did you see? You want to reconnect it and then go ahead and cut out the, those parts. Then having the yoke differently. So this is the yoke. And then this is our cup we want to go ahead and remove all the dart line and then you see what i have so continue with my cutting before then you want to also make sure the side seam align because when once you close up the boss dart there is every tendency that the side seam will not align so you want to go ahead and align them so you want to continue with your cutting remove all the dots as you can see me doing Then proceed to cutting the cup. So you want to make an indication which one is one, which one is two, and then center front and side seam for the front. You want to label it in such a, in a way that you are going to understand it. So you want to go ahead and cut out the back, the front yoke now. So did you see what we have? So you want to put a paper underneath it to align this so once you put a paper like this you want to align it together but on the upper part now the shoulder part you will see that the shoulder part is open by around 0 0.25 inch so that means you are going to have a bit excess on the shoulder part which you are going to also remove so you want to go ahead and reconnect this shoulder because it's not aligning to get again you want to reconnect your shoulder and then you continue your cutting so this is what we have you want to reconnect like this and then go ahead and cut out did you see you want to cut out this part then remove this excess here So after you are done cutting you want to bring the the yoke of the front and of the back you want to match them together and you can see from the front part i have an excess of 0 0.25 inch which was added when i was uh, uh, when i closed up the shoulder so the 0 0.25 inch was added so i'm going to cut it out just the way you see me do from the armhole side you just cut it out and then when you match it up everything aligns together so that is basically how to go about this as you can see i am done cutting this pattern in my next video i am going to show you how to sew this so please stay tuned in the next video i'm going to show you how to sew everything together so this is the front part the yoke the cups the side seam and the center front and this is the back part the yoke the side the center back and the um side seam for the back so you want to go ahead and add all your necessary sewing allowance on your yoke your side seam your center back you also add your sewing allowance all around and also your hemming allowance for the done part and for the cup you cut the cup into two pieces and you add all your necessary sewing allowance for the back front yoke you are going to cut on food but for the back yoke you are going to be cutting two pieces thank you guys for watching to this moment see you in my next video bye